Beam me up, Scotty. Scotty? Hey guys, Trace here for D News with an update on the state of teleportation, and that update is quit asking about teleportation. Teleportation is a portmanteau of telecommunication and transportation. The idea is to translate a physical thing to data, stream it to somewhere else, and then reassemble it. It sounds fantastical, but physicists at the California Institute of Technology accomplished their first teleported object back in 1998, and no, no flies were with Jeff Goldblum this time. In comparison to Star Trek, their accomplishment might seem kind of limited. The physicists teleported a single photon, about one meter. And since then, they've been able to teleport as far as 100 miles, but they're still working mainly with photons. See, there's this little thing in physics called the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which says you can know how fast something is moving or its location, but not both. It's the barrier for teleporting larger things. These smarty pants researchers got around the principle using something called entanglement. Pretty much, they get photons to entangle or interact, and then they share their traits. By using three photons, scientists can teleport one of them to a new place. It's easy. Okay, it's not that easy. Theoretically, because we can transport one photon, we should also be able to do more things. But a person has a lot more info than a single photon. There are 10 to the 28th atoms in the human body. That's a lot of zeros. Each of those would have to be entangled, read, digitized, teleported, and then the process would have to be reversed. Long story short, this would take forever. Forever. According to students at the University of Leicester, using current technology, the amount of data contained in the whole human, including the physical body plus the memories, can't forget those, is 3.02 times 10 to the 32nd gigabytes of information. Using a high bandwidth transfer, that data would take about 4.5 quadrillion years to teleport. One time. That is 350,000 times the age of the universe. No big. And if that's not a big enough issue, though this might be taking it too personally, there is another problem. The exact thing that arrives is not the same thing the left, it's been reconstructed. See, when scientists entangle and teleport that photon, they're actually destroying it to read all of its information, so it's it's gone until they reconstruct it 100 miles away. With regard to a person, you sort of have to die, but you'd be alive again when they reconstructed you, but you'd be dead in the middle. So it seems that we're not quite there yet. As of now, teleportation technology will remain in the digital world. Scientists are learning to teleport data distances great enough to create a computer that can teleport data instantly, making it much faster than current technologies. Last month, scientists in Denmark managed to teleport the quantum state of something larger than a photon, a cesium atom, making yet another small step toward this type of computing. Teleportation, guys, how do you feel about it? Even knowing you sort of die, would you want to give it a try if they got there in your lifetime? Tell us your reasoning in the comments, and thanks for watching D News.